a good episode about Supernatural that isn't a flaming piece of shit. Who could have thought it even has a fucking sock puppet in it? Ooh, that's a hot mug, guy. Hey guys, this is my review for Supernatural. Hey guys, this is my review for episode 18 of Supernatural Season 7. They actually did a good episode. This is actually going to be probably one of my favorites of the season. So let me explain. I'm going to take this off now. This episode starts with Garth coming into the picture, taking on this uh, invisible entity that they think is a ghost that kills this kid at the beginning of the episode. But it turns out that there's a little bit more to it. It's not possibly a monster. They don't really know what it is, so he calls in Sam and Dean. And this, this, ladies and gentlemen, is what this season should have done. There's a lot of episodes that they have tried to do this. Hell, the last one even tried to do this. There's been a few that have come before it that tried to do this, but this is really seamless integration of a Monster of the Week episode, character development, and story progression. Not about the Leviathans, actually, just but like story progression about the brothers and their situation with Bobby. I liked every aspect about it, and on top of that, I laughed. I laughed a lot. What the crux of the story is, is these three guys who have this tiff about running this brewery, one dies, but he actually has this box of this Japanese box that holds a, a shoya or a shoga, essentially a Japanese ghost that kills people that it is sent after in the means of uh, anger and, re and revenge. But the only way you can see it is if you're drunk and they take full advantage of that, but they don't go overboard. Like for instance, Dean isn't drunk when he fights if it's Sam is and Garth is, but he gets knocked out really easily. What I think I liked about this episode is it truly showed why Garth was a favorite character. Sure, he wasn't on the show a lot. I think they used him sparingly to the point where it was a good idea how sparingly they used him. Much like how Dean says at the beginning of the episode, he grows on you. I always start a Garth episode not liking him, but by the end of the episode, I still come to like him. And I know that I will repeat this process again and again and again. And that's just the relationship with Garth. I'm, I don't know how else to describe it, but I enjoy his presence in this episode. I enjoy the dynamic between Sam and Dean with Sam kind of just talking about how it is now that he's been relieved of his of his broken mind, but he feels guilty that it's in Cass's mind. But like Dean says, how can you feel guilty? Like Cass is basically just taking back what he did. A little bit of a note on that. That's a little bit of a kind of like a, oh, that's how we're solving that issue. But I do like how there also is more of a reference to the elements that have been happening around them that most likely have been affected by Bobby. And there's that little bit that uh, Sam actually tried to contact Bobby a little while ago, but it didn't work. That's a secret. That's a kind of a an idea of something being kept from one another. That makes sense. That would be taken to the nth degree for like everything. They just would keep on lying to each other about everything as the show would go on. But this was something that made sense that they would keep from each other. Like Sam just doesn't want to spurn that fire. He doesn't want Dean to go any further down that road of thought than he has to. So that's why he nipped it in the butt. He looked into it and he couldn't find anything. But it's very clear that Dean is being helped by Bobby, but there's a limitation to how he is being helped. And that's how we find out at the very end of the episode, where we see Bobby is a ghost and he's following the boys. He can't communicate with them, except only in moments of helping them with certain aspects. The music in the background was very reminiscent of the earlier seasons whenever an episode would kind of end on a somber note. I really liked that. I, I thought that was a good musical touch to the episode. Overall, the episode's funny. The The thing that they have to fight is a cool ring inspiration. Obviously, it's very much akin to the ring or... Oh, uh, fuck, what was the one that Sarah Michelle Gellar did a remake of out here? I'm sorry, I can't remember. The, the Grudge? The Grudge, there we go. I thought that was spooky. Oh, by the way, the kid who gets killed at the beginning? Or the second one, the second kid who gets killed. Holy shit, that was really gory. That was scary. Supernatural gave me a spook. I haven't felt that in years. So I enjoy this episode all over. I think that it's a very good 
of Monster of the Week episode. I think it's a good character development episode. It's also got some good humor. It's got some good gore. It's got some good scares. It has the perfect crux of what this episode is, like what Supernatural is in a nutshell. And it ends on a somber note where you're kind of wanting to know what's going on with Bobby to the point where you are far more invested in this fucking story that has appeared halfway through than the garbage ass Leviathan story that they try to give you at the beginning, but they realize they couldn't even come up with anything. And the fact that, ladies and gentlemen, that we are 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, we are five episodes away from the finale of this season. Like, these things are going to be killed off. Admittedly, thankfully, they don't die off as quickly as the Mother of All did, but I just feel that there were these, like, sparking moments of episodes like these in Season 7 that didn't make it a giant shit fire, but that's just a personal opinion. In the end, I'm going to give Party on Garth a five you know what nah, fuck it a six out of seven i'm gonna give this episode a six out of seven just because it's just i i haven't had this much enjoyment watching this season since it's just a really well put together episode now i'm not just judging it on the story i'm judging it on how well it was made put together uh it was directed by phil which is probably one of the reasons why it was decently done and just every supernatural trademark that we like that wasn't overdone that wasn't oversaturated was used really well in this episode anyways those were my thoughts about this episode but let's see what you guys have to say let's see what you guys had to comment on all right we're only the two here i absolutely love dj qualls as garth because he's quite a character i really like his interactions with sam and dean in the episode i love the scene where he was talking to the girl with the puppet sock Plus, Garth didn't become a series regular because I I would have enjoyed seeing him more. Sucks, sorry. Um, I think they used him exactly amount as how they should. I think that if he got more of a regular, he would have been a little bit more annoying. I, I feel like that genuine charm to him would have faded or would have been saturated, kind of just like dried up. Party on Garth is a fun episode incorporating Japanese mythology. It made for an excellent comedy that Sam and Dean fought a ghost while they had to be drunk to see. It's also good to see Garth again and seeing Mr. Puzzle for a brief moment maybe forget I was watching Supernatural. The ending scene of Bobby again was heartwarming but it made you wonder what plans were uh, the writers had for his character. Well yeah, like it, that was the thing is it actually made you care about what was going on with the show. It actually made you care about what was going on with the season. You cared more about a character who died halfway through than the actual plot they had been trying to give you terribly, mind you, for the last near on 20 episodes. All right, guys, thank you for your comments. Now we're going on to number, episode 19 of Grave Importance. Make sure to give me guys' thoughts about that episode in the comments below, and I'll read those off in the next review. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like, and if you're interested in more, subscribe. Five more, guys. Five fucking more, and then we're done this season. Woohoo! So we should be done at this rate. We should be done by April? Anyways, guys, till then, see you next time.